Hello, Jen here. This video is day one post recovery of my CO2 laser treatment. So what I'm gonna do is each day I will share with you a video diary of what am I thinking, how am I feeling, and what am I doing each day to help you if you choose to have this treatment, but also to give you an insight into the actual recovery. So yesterday I had the treatment at four o'clock Friday afternoon, which I'd suggest is pretty much a good time to have it done because you're not gonna be going out for the weekend, put it that way. But anyway, it was good because I could just come straight home and just rest instantly. My skin was pink, um, it was sore. I was okay to be seen in public, I'd suggest, but you didn't want anyone to look close up because you could still see the white dots. So then I had a reasonably good night's sleep and I woke up quite early, and mainly feeling or thinking I feel all right. It wasn't too bad. I did have like a bit of agitation because the cat was walking all over my head and I was like, oh, don't, don't touch me. Um, but in general, I was lying there thinking, what have I done and is it gonna be okay? And generally it was, yeah, it, it wasn't too bad. So I got up straight away and then I took a photo and you can see from the photo, my eyes were sort of quite puffy. And um, I was sort of thinking, oh, okay, this, this isn't too bad. So. Got, I got a drink and just sort of went back to bed. And that's when, when I really started to sort of feel quite quite blue, quite down, um, and a bit sort of mm. And then I realized it was because my face was sort of stuck in this mm feel, and it was tight. And it felt like, you know when you have a clay mask and the mask dries on your face? It felt like that. It was like stuck, but it was stuck in this sort of mm position. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. So my brain was sort of feeling, mm, and actually well, I was thinking, oh, I feel all right, actually, it's not too bad. So as the morning has, has unraveled, um, the puffiness has gone down, the pinkiness is sort of still there. It just feels dry. To touch, it just feels like sandpaper. Um, I'm feeling quite positive that um, it's, everything's going to plan. And then, as I say, it, it's not too bad at all. Overall, I'm not in any pain. It's just a bit uncomfortable, is the best way I can explain it. So what am I doing? Well, I've not done much, if I'm honest. Um, as you know, I am a therapist myself and I understand that the skin is very, very clever. So I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna let the skin do its thing because this is dead now or has been killed off. So it just needs to flake away over the next couple of days. So putting any expensive fancy creams or serums on is kind of a waste in these early days. I did put a little bit of Savalon on just because that's what people are talking about doing. Um, and it stung when it first went on. I thought, oh, here we go. But actually that sting just dropped off quite quickly, you know, within minutes. Um, and it just feels like the right thing to do. But I don't feel as though I'm gonna be infected or uh, have any bacteria issues. As I say, it feels more like a sandpaper. It just feels really dry and really tight. Um, my neck feels all right as well. I had visions of this being worse because there's always less hyaluronic acid in your neck area. But actually no, equally, equally as uncomfortable all over. The other thing I'm going to do this afternoon is I'm going to probably do an LED um, canopy session. I brought it home from clinic, so I thought, right, I'll do that as a little, little moment this afternoon. I'm going to put it on the red, uh, the red light setting, and I'll just line to that for sort of 30, 40 minutes. So that would be quite nice. And then maybe put a bit more sort of Savalon type cream on after that, just you know, just to make it feel better. But as I say, it sort of stung afterwards. I'm thinking, it's not really soothing. And then apart from that, I'm just gonna do another load of videos because I'm gonna be doing um, a cleanse. I'm gonna do a juice cleanse, vegetable only juice cleanse throughout this journey because I think it's really important to you know, help encourage the repair from the inside out as well. Mainly because also I can't really do much exercise. So I thought, well, I might as well take advantage of this situation. Um, I might go for a walk later if I feel the urge because it's, Typical, it's not very sunny outside, um, but if I do go, it will be, I shall look like a celebrity with my cap and my glasses and, and cover my skin up. So that's gonna be the day, and I'll be back tomorrow to do exactly the same, what am I thinking, feeling and doing on day two of my CO2 laser treatment. That's the cap, sorry about that. <laughs> See you then, bye.